Welcome to Pro Tips. Hi, I'm Dean Wedekind with MaxiLift and another in our series on bucket elevator inspections. Now, of course, in this series, we're talking about being able to inspect the inside components of the bucket elevator and really understanding what's going on. In this particular pro tip, we're going to be talking about the importance of knowing the condition of your belt, especially the backside, but also the belt splice. Now, the backside of the belt and the front side are going to have a cover in a grain facility. The cover needs to be static conductive, oil resistant, and flame retardant. If the cover is gone, you've lost those characteristics. So as we look at this situation here, I had a customer that got in touch with me. They had a, a leg belt drop. Now that's a terrible situation. Fortunately, they had already gotten a new belt. They've gotten new buckets, Tiger Tough buckets, and they're in good shape for a long time. But the situation he wanted me to look at was, could I come out and take a look at the belt and give them some idea of why I thought that it had failed in the first place? So let's look at a few photos that I took when I was there. You'll notice in this photo, in the foreground, is the old belt. Why does it look so white or gray? That's because the back cover is completely worn away. This belt has been in use for a long time, and probably when this splice was put in, you can see a newer belt in the other part of the photo, which is darker. That belt probably should have been replaced at that time rather than being spliced, but it was spliced. So let's take a look at some of the back of the bolts in that splice. Here, some of them are broken, some of them are missing. Let's look at some of the bolts in the buckets. Here's a bolt with a lock washer and no flat washer, and the nut is loose. Here's another one where a nut is loose. It has a flat washer and no lock washer. Here's another photo that shows a bolt is completely missing. And as I looked at the entire splice area, there were a number of places where bolts were missing or they were loose. Now, the entire belt, the rest of the belt, the old belt, didn't have any of that situation, but the splice had problems with maintenance and some bolts had come loose. What I told them is most likely what happened is that the buckets right there in the closest place where the splice came together had gotten loose, they got caught on something, or just the fact of digging through the boot had caused so much strain on that old belt that it finally tore away. So all of that just to let you know that the importance of understanding the condition, you need to be able to see that belt splice and check the, the bolts, the nuts, the washers, make sure that the splice is in great condition, but also check the back side of your belt to see that it really is able to accomplish what it's supposed to do as well. We've got a lot more in this series on bucket elevator inspections. Go to MaxiLift.com to find all of the pro tips or search on YouTube, MaxiLift INC. I'm Dean Wedekind for MaxiLift and Pro Tips.